Hey, Collective Hey, welcome back, guys. Welcome back. Shout out to the entire YouTube fam. I love you guys. Okay. Happy uh, Thursday, everyone. Happy Thursday. Give me some messages for the collective. This came flying backwards, okay? Savor your life, okay? Passion and pleasure. But somebody, you finna start having some fun. Yeah, beginning a new cycle is here at the bottom. For somebody, there's about to be an energy shift, okay? Your energy getting ready to shift with this passion and pleasure, okay? Spirit is telling you to savor your life, enjoy your life, okay? It's okay to have a little fun, you know what I'm saying? So for somebody, you might be getting ready to go out. You might be getting ready to go party, okay? You might be going to an event. You might be going to a gathering, okay? Amongst other people. I see you enjoying yourself amongst other people. For some of y'all, you finna be uh you're you're gonna begin taking trips, okay? There needs to be some type of balance. There needs to be some some type of balance. Um you know, between your home life and, you know, with you having fun, you know, look, success expands in your life. Again, you just really enjoying this. This is gates of triumph. You enjoying the things that God has blessed us with on earth to enjoy, whatever that may be. Because if you like me, you, you, you strictly a homebody. I definitely need a better balance. Wow, begin now. <laughs> this is funny. For somebody, you need to start enjoying yourself. Begin now is here, okay? This say take the first step. So for somebody, you, you have to take some type of action. And then underneath begin now was uh, reaching your destination. What did I say? For some of y'all, you finna begin to take trips or you're going to just get out more. You're going to celebrate life more. And I'm not talking about, you know, how once a year um, when we have birthdays and I saw a video and the guy talked about how birthdays are rituals. OK, um, but this is not like a birthday, like you getting out, you know, uh, celebrating life. This is like at any moment, at any time. This could be every day for somebody, you know. I think that's really important in the times that we live in that we really start enjoying life more. You know what I'm saying? Spending time with the people that we love. I don't care if it's one person or if it's 50 people, okay? And I'm seeing rainbow blessings at the bottom. For somebody, you have some type of blessing coming. This says blessings are showering your life. Not blessing, but blessings with an S. The rainbow is here, okay? The rainbow is a reminder of the promises, okay? So for somebody, there are some things that God promised you, okay? That is getting ready to shower in your life, okay? Let's clarify these. For somebody, you're on some type of journey, okay? You, you, you finna be led to go somewhere, to travel somewhere, or to do something with this begin now and reaching your destination. There might be a action step that you need to take. And I know it's a lot of us that's introverts, right? So you might be an introvert. You might don't have friends. You know what I'm saying? But you're going to run in your soul tribe. You're going to connect with people more like you, people whose spirits, People whose souls resonates with yours, okay? So sometimes even if you don't have friends or, you know, you don't have people to really socially hang out with, you just need to take yourself out. You know what I'm saying? Take yourself out. Uh, place yourself in a certain environment. You don't know who may approach you or who you might feel comfortable approaching or speaking to in the relationship uh, that is built from there, okay? But for somebody, you finna start having a good time, honey. What is this passion and pleasure? Savor your life. What is this passion and pleasure? Whoa, child, the six of wands. Collective, what are y'all doing? These just literally flew out. Hold on. 
I'm seeing the Knight of Cups at the bottom. We're seeing Six of Wands, Queen of Swords, okay, and one flipped over. What is this? The Page of Cups here. I'm going to just take the one off top, the Six of Wands. For somebody, you're going to start getting a lot of attention, or you might be somebody that just naturally get a lot of attention, okay? I'm seeing the Knight of Cups here. So for somebody, I feel like it's some type of offer that you're going to get, okay? This could be a job offer. This could be um, love. This could be romance, okay? But for somebody, you finna get a lot of attention, period. Or either I'm picking up, you might be somebody who naturally, you just get a lot of attention. You might be drop dead gorgeous. It might be the energy that you carry, okay? But for somebody, you finna start getting some attention. You are on a high frequency is what I'm hearing, okay? You are on a high frequency so yeah i feel like you somebody no matter where you go you draw attention i don't care if it's the gas station i don't care if it's the grocery store i don't care if it's an event okay wherever you go you draw attention again uh, you have a high energy something about your energy for some of y'all um you have the type of energy you attract you attract um how do I say this? Like, you can go to a place of business, right? And when you go to the place of business, let's just say when you first pull up, is nobody there, right? The parking lot empty, there's nobody inside. But by the time you get out your car and walk in, it's a hundred cars pulling up now. Now the place is crowded. For somebody, you bring blessings to, to, to people's businesses, okay? You bring blessings to people, businesses. This has something to do with your energy. This has something to do with your energy. For somebody, you need to start paying attention. Start paying attention. Yeah, you connected the source to a cups here, okay? You, you, you bring business to people. You bring money to people. You bring blessings to people. I was um out at Publix today and it was an older lady stopped me, an older black woman stopped me and we were talking and, you know, I was surprised she stopped and talked to me and complimented me. You know what I'm saying? This was definitely an older lady, almost seemed like an older church lady kind of, but this is why you can't judge a book by its cover. You know, we we talked about God for a little bit and everything. You know what I'm saying? But for somebody, it's kind of like that again. Everywhere you go, you draw attention. You drawing attention to yourself. Thank you, Holy Spirit. For somebody, you, you drawing some type of attention to yourself. What does this begin now? I'm hearing it's something you need to do while you have the attention. It's something you need to do while you have people's attention. What does this begin now? Okay, so this is a lot, okay? I'm going to just take the one off top, but I'm going to show y'all. We got the Ace of Swords, the Hangman, and the Three of Swords here. A lot of sword energy. For somebody, you've been stagnant. What did I say? There needs to be some type of balance, okay? There needs to be some type of balance. I'm going to just take this Three of Swords. I also feel like for somebody, look, uh, judgment is at the bottom. Spirit is calling you to do something now, okay? Judgment is here, okay? With begin now. So you sup either, I'm picking up a, a couple things, but somebody, it's, it's like something is being resurrected or you are being resurrected or you are going through a spiritual awakening. You are going through some type of, of spiritual activation at this time, some type of initiation at this time. Again, begin now is something that you called to do literally with this judgment here. For somebody, you could be dealing with some type of hurt or pain or grief. Or, or loss that you've dealt with from with with uh in the past here with this three of swords but for somebody spirit is calling you to overcome this hurt 
overcome this pain, overcome this grief, because there is something great that God is calling you to do now, okay, with this begin now. Again, for somebody, you get, you, you're about to get a lot of attention or uh, you, you draw a lot of attention. I'm also picking up an energy for somebody with this three of swords. See, you got to be careful what type of attention you draw, okay? You got to be careful what type of attention you attract, okay? So let me give you an example. So I used to not really even thinking about it because I literally live like minutes, one or two minutes from the convenience store, right? So when I need something from the store, what do I do? I just usually hop up and go, grab the keys and go. You know what I'm saying? I don't really think about, oh, I need to change clothes because I'm going two, one to two minutes up the road. Uh, you know, y'all ladies gonna feel me on this. You know how we round the house. We wear our little, you know, like house dress. I don't know really what to call it. <laughs> but usually, you know what I'm saying? It's not, I ain't gonna say it's, well, it, it, it could be revealing sometimes. Our little house dresses, you know what I'm saying? It don't have to be tight, but you know, our butt might shake in the dress. Our boobs might bounce when we walk in the dress. And I had to realize, you know, I'm drawing the wrong type of attention to me. The Holy Spirit had to show me. This was a while back. You're drawing the wrong type of attention. You're drawing the wrong eyes, okay? So some of you ladies, be careful. You know what I'm saying? When you're going out places, you know what I'm saying? Especially when you're going alone, okay? Be careful of the attention that you attract, okay? Be careful of the attention that you are drawing, okay? Because again, it does not, it does not give somebody the right to touch you or attempt to harm you or anything like that because of the way that you are dressed right but at the same time you have to be mindful see that everybody don't operate from a high frequency okay so when you dress out going a certain way you attracting low vibrational energies that's what it is so be again be careful of the attention that you are attracting for somebody you attracting a hell of a lot of attention what is this reaching your destination? Your light is shining brightly, okay? What is this reaching your destination? Wow, the page of cups is here. Wow, two of cups here. For somebody, you being spiritually led, okay? You being divinely led. I said that earlier with this two of cups. But it just, these two just split. I'm seeing page of swords here. For somebody, you finna get some communication. Remember, we've been talking about balance, okay? There being some type of balance, okay? For somebody, there is some type of balance getting ready to be brought into your life, okay? You need to get ready to receive some communication. There is a message, okay? I'm also seeing the emperor. What is this six of wands? King of Swords, communication. For somebody, you got communication coming. Yeah, the Three of Pentacles here. For somebody, it might be some type of collaboration, okay? There might be some type of collaboration or it's something, it's something going on behind the scenes. What is this Three of Swords? And y'all can see that shadow. I'm sorry because I have this overhead light on. What is this three of swords? What is y'all doing, collective baby? I'm seeing the king of cups here. I'm also seeing this four of wands and the magician. What is this King of Cups with this Three of Swords? For some of y'all, you guess you you about to get some type of attention from a masculine energy. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Okay, I'm also seeing water sign. Again, a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius man. Or this King of Cups is giving me a water sign also. 
uh, or this person could be a water sign. What is this page of cups? Yeah, ten of swords. Something coming to an end. For somebody, again, begin now. There is something new you getting ready to start. Here is that emperor again. Emperor and this five of pentacles. What is this king of swords? Feel like this is somebody wanting to talk. What is this king of swords and this six of wands with passion and pleasure? Child, for some of y'all, it's somebody holding on. He go that knight of cups again. For some of y'all, it's somebody holding on. This could be somebody from your past. I keep seeing fives. There is about to be some type of change or transformation, okay? What is this king of cups with the three of swords? For somebody, I feel like you got somebody in their feelings, okay? You might have somebody in their feelings. For those of you where this might resonate with love, okay, child? Page of swords, six of swords, a lot of sword energy. Somebody want to talk. You got some communication coming. Uh, whoever this masculine energy is around, you could also watch you, okay? I'm, I'm seeing a lot of pages, a lot of messengers. Again, yeah, you, 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 you got a lot of eyes on you. You got a lot of eyes on you. Here go this page of pentacles. We have the page of cups, page of swords. For somebody, you literally have a lot of eyes on you. But I, I don't feel like it's nothing bad or it's anything negative. I'm just saying as a woman, because I've experienced this, okay, be careful of the energy that you attracting or uh, be careful of the attention, excuse me, that you are attracting. Now, it's nothing wrong with putting on your little outfits and going out in, in that environment, okay? But like I say, for me, running just to the gas station to grab something and coming back home, in less than 10 minutes, I didn't feel like I needed to change clothes. I felt like it was okay for me to go out in my little house dress, but I'm half naked under underneath. My butt is bouncing when I walk. My breast bouncing when I walk, okay? That's, that's you, you, you attracting the wrong attention. That ain't the time or place for me to be dressed like that. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like that just might help somebody, okay? What is this Ten of Swords? Strength card, overcoming some type of obstacle. This is dope, guys. For somebody, you finna have some type of options, okay, with this Seven Child. I'm seeing this Six of Cups under this Seven of Cups. Six and Seven of Cups is here. For some of y'all, somebody from your past is coming back around, giving you some type of attention. Moon card, something hidden is something that you don't see. The Hermit is here. The Hermit is here wanting to come out. Somebody been watching you from afar. It's like somebody been watching you from afar. Whoever you are, you definitely have eyes on you. But again, I, I, I don't feel like it's, it's anything bad. But it's somewhere that God is taking you. It's something that God is getting ready to do in your life. Again, rainbow blessings is here, okay? So I feel like there are many blessings that you finna get ready to receive, okay? They could manifest in many different ways. So I feel like y'all need to be on the lookout for that, okay? Many blessings in many different ways. So hit that thumbs up, guys. Subscribe if you have not subscribed, okay? Thank you guys for watching.